Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and hi if you are new. Today's video is going to be a summer clean and cook with me. I've got a couple of delicious recipes to share with you as well as tons of cleaning motivation. We are tackling lots of messes in my house. And this video is also in collaboration with my friend Sarah here on YouTube. I know you guys will absolutely love her channel. She makes lots of cleaning motivation, home decor videos, lifestyle content. She is a mom of five and she is currently pregnant with her sixth kiddo. She is definitely a super mom for sure. This video that she is doing is a cleaning video right before they headed out on vacation. So I know it is going to give you all tons of cleaning motivation. So definitely go and check her out. Her channel will be linked in the description box. Subscribe and let Sarah know that I sent you. And if you are here from Sarah's channel, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Meredith and I make tons of cleaning videos, lifestyle content, shop with me's. So be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. Don't forget to hit the like button and let's go ahead and get right to cleaning. All right, you guys, we are starting out by cleaning out my refrigerator. It was definitely full of food and not very well organized. Sometimes I feel like there's a lot more space in your fridge and then until you start moving things around and cleaning stuff out, you don't realize how much space you had. So I was taking everything out, giving the fridge a really good wipe down and then I had a few things that I had gotten from the store that I needed to add back into the refrigerator. I feel like because we are still doing so much cooking at home, still not really going out to eat or anything since most places are pretty closed down around here still, then that means my fridge is always full of food. I have lots of drinks and coffees and creamers and two containers of water because we drink so much water during the day especially. So this refrigerator is not very big but I definitely needed to make sure that I cleaned it out before I put everything back in. you guys are wondering what that white ramekin is in the back of the refrigerator then definitely go and check out my cleaning hacks video I shared in that video a simple refrigerator deodorizer it's just a little bit of baking soda and essential oils there are so many little hacks like that in that video just to help freshen up your home and keep it clean for a long time most of these clips back, I'm realizing that 90% of my refrigerator is actually condiments. Let me know in the comments if you guys have the same problem. I feel like I am a condiment kind of gal. I love ketchups and mustards and salad dressings and Jack loves hot sauce. We have all kinds of sauces and things that we like to use. And then we have things that we like to use in mixed drinks and things like that. So I feel like the refrigerator is just constantly full of different condiments. <music> refrigerator look like once everything was put away still looks pretty full but definitely clean and way more organized and then I had a few things I needed to put away in my pantry and this is probably the world's smallest pantry but I just feel like this pantry is not the best in terms of organization the top shelf is so hard to put stuff on because of the slanted ceiling I have all kinds of things in there to try and keep things organized I have little turntables and containers but I just do the best I can most of the time I put stuff away in here, it's like playing Tetris. Like nothing could stop. 
if you are cleaning along with me instead of watching, we are moving on to unloading the dishwasher and just putting everything back where it goes. I really try to do this at the beginning of the day. I try to run my dishwasher at nighttime. And if you are not cleaning along with me, then let me know in the comments what you are doing while you are watching. Are you sitting and relaxing? Are you enjoying this beautiful weather? Hopefully where you live, the weather's nice. It has been gorgeous here lately. There's no going back to your own life. Your living own in the past. Life. We're over that. I'm feeling it tonight. Riding on the dizzying heights. just a couple of things that I needed to hand wash that I could not put in the dishwasher and on this particular day I was having a really tough time getting my stainless steel pan clean I think that it had just sat too long with stuff in it and so it wasn't really wiping off so I don't know if you guys have ever tried this before but you guys know that I love my barkeepers friend on my stainless steel sink I use it to clean my sink all the time but it works so well on stainless steel like dishware as well if you scrub it with like a pad or something like that and just scrub it really really good it gets all of the stains off and it makes your pan look so shiny and sparkly you can do this on silverware you can do this on dishes guys I was so impressed and especially on the bottoms of my pans a lot of times they get um, like oil and grease caked on I really have to scrub hard but by the time I'm done rinsing everything off you can see here in just a second that the pan is so shiny and sparkly on my sink now and I try to give my sink a good clean out at least once a week sometimes twice a week it really depends on what I have put in the sink if I do raw meats to defrost them or something then I always make sure to clean it after I have put meat in the um, sink and stuff but a lot of times I'm baking or cooking so I really have to make sure that I keep the sink clean I've been slamming the door and just leave you pretty tray here is from the Grove Collaborative as well as all of my dish soaps and hand soaps. I also get all my cleaning tools from the Grove Collaborative as well, my scouring pads and sponges and things like that. So if you guys like the cleaning tools that I use, then definitely check the link in my description box so you guys can get some as well. And now we are moving on to cleaning out my closets. I recently did a cleaning video where I cleaned out my closet in my bedroom and I have shoes and clothes in every closet in my house. It is so sad, I have way too much stuff. So I figured on this day I would tackle the next closet. This is my coat closet downstairs. It is in my guest bedroom. It's just the perfect place to have a coat closet because most guests when they come to stay can just hang up their coats. Unfortunately, my coats take up most of the space and so do my shoes. I have a ridiculous amount of shoes. Half of my shoes are upstairs and the other half are downstairs and I just needed to purge some. I have a really hard time letting go of things and I said this in my last video, it's just because if they're not completely falling apart then I can't really justify getting rid of them. But sometimes you just have to make that tough choice and pass them on to somebody else. Some of these shoes were also so far gone, they actually needed to be thrown out. They couldn't even be donated. So I had definitely let it go for way too long. I just needed to wipe down this little shoe rack that I have here. I believe I got this shoe rack from Bed Bath & Beyond. I have a matching one that's upstairs in my master bedroom closet as well. And then the baseboards in the floor had gotten so dusty and dirty underneath where the shoes were that I also needed to wipe that down too.
this is what the closet looked like when it was done. A little bit of space for people to hang up their coats and I purged probably four or five pairs of shoes. And now we are moving on to the second day of cleaning. I always like to break my cleaning up into a couple of days. So we are starting out by letting the robot vacuum do its thing. I always move the chair so that he can get in and around the table really easily. I made a promise in one of my last cleaning videos that I was going to switch out my bed sheets every Sunday or every other Sunday, but regardless, I was going to make it happen on Sundays. That was my day of the week to do bed sheets. This just helps me to remember the last time that I did it. And it's the same way with washing my hair. Ladies, I don't know if you do the same thing, but I always have a really hard time remembering when the last time is that I washed my hair. So if I always do it on the same day every week, then I don't have to question when the last time is that I did it. Put out all of the if it gets too dark, oh, oh, I'll be We have another closet to organize and this is my upstairs walk-in closet and this closet is a dual purpose one. Most of the closet is full of decorations in bins for different seasonal things and then I just have a small space here where I hang up some of my longer hanging clothes, mostly like pants and dresses and things like that. But I had not gone through this stuff in a very long time and I recently got a few dresses from like Old Navy and Target and added a few things to my collection so there was some stuff that had just been been way too worn out and I needed to get rid of. And this is probably a great time to mention that I do like to consign most of my clothes. I do order a bag from ThreadUp. And if you guys don't know what ThreadUp is, then I will link their website down below so you guys can go check them out. But if you have clothes that are in really good shape that you can sell and get money for, then you definitely wanna check them out. I had a lot of really nice clothes that had been just worn a few times that I either had outgrown or some clothes that I had worn a lot but I had held onto them for so long and I just didn't reach for them anymore. And it's a great way to get a little bit of money back on clothes that are in great shape or are really good name brands. So I'm just going to set aside some clothes that I'm going to consign and then I'm going to reorder all of these clothes so that everything that I am more likely to grab is at the front of the closet. dinner time and I am so excited to be sharing with you this super easy recipe for shepherd's pie. You need very few ingredients for this. You're going to need for the sauce a little bit of ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, garlic, salt, onion powder, and then you need mashed potatoes, mixed veggies, and some ground beef. I choose to use the packaged potatoes like the dehydrated dehydrated ones in the pack, but you can also just make mashed potatoes from scratch. So I am just putting my ground beef with some oil in the pan, and then I have my water boiling for my mashed potatoes. I'm just gonna get all this ground beef chopped up, add my seasoning, and then we'll move on from there. We are too much. Look at me, I'm in a bad situation. Look at him, he's got a bad reputation. They be looking at us. Mm. These mashed potatoes are seriously so easy. You just add them to the boiling water and stir them. It's that simple. I really just feel like I can't make mashed potatoes from scratch anymore now that I have tried these dehydrated ones in the packet. 
but after your ground beef has cooked a little bit, then you are going to make your sauce. So I forgot to mention, you do need a little cornstarch if you want it to be a little bit thicker. It just gets thick as it cooks in the oven. I did somewhere around two tablespoons of cornstarch, half a cup of water, three tablespoons of ketchup, and two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. You can always adjust this to taste if you want to. You can use flour instead of cornstarch. It works just like cornstarch does as a thickener. And then to your ground beef, you're going to add your mixed veggies. The ones that I chose to use for this were frozen, but you could also use fresh ones as well. Just give those a quick stir, and then you're gonna add the sauce directly to the pan and let it get a little bit thick. Be good all the time. I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine. Don't care what they say, too late anyway. Why do I need to be good? The assembly is probably the easiest part. You're going to get a 13 by nine pan and you're going to spread all of your ground beef and veggie mixture on the bottom. Then you're going to top with your mashed potatoes and then you can just kind of spread them out. I know sometimes people like to top the mashed potatoes with cheese. You could do that if you wanted to. On this night, I chose not to. I just baked it like this. And I should mention that your oven at this point should be preheated to 400 degrees. And then you're going to want to bake this uncovered for somewhere around 30 minutes. You could always do 25 minutes and then come back and check it and see. You want the mashed potatoes on the top to be just a little bit brown and buttery and you will see when it comes out of the oven how good it looks. But we are moving on to a delicious drink recipe. I saw Brianna Kay share this on her YouTube channel in one of her latest videos. I will link her channel down below because she gave me the inspiration for this drink. It is a watermelon lemonade with mint leaves and let me tell you, it is so delicious. We already had lots of watermelon so I just added ice and the watermelon to a pitcher and then I'm going to take my mint and just pull a few sprigs off of it. Um, you could do this to taste however many that you wanted. And then you're going to use any lemonade that you would like. I love the Simply Lemonade, so that is the one that I am using for this. You're just gonna open it up and pour it right in. And you can serve it directly like I did, but you could also let it steep for a little bit, give it a good stir, and then let it sit in the refrigerator for a few hours if you wanted all of those flavors to kind of mesh together. You could also wait and add the ice maybe like closer to when you're ready to serve it if you don't want it to get watered down. But this is what it looks like when it was finished. I thought it was so delicious. You could definitely taste the mint and the watermelon and it looks super pretty in the glass. And this is what the shepherd's pie looked like when it came out of the oven. You can see that it is bubbling and it was so delicious. We had this with a salad on this particular night and the lemonade was a perfect combo. But that is gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed. And don't forget to check out Sarah's video as well. And I will see you guys again very soon in a brand new video. Bye guys. Yeah.